Well, day 13 free to play. Can't make it. Can't believe I made this mistake. Uh, I kind of discovered it when I was on the stream. I think I know why I'm so far behind. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna talk about it. And so that way, hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake. I definitely wanna know what is your thoughts. Um, are you making the same mistakes as me or are you, uh, are you countering all that? All right, so obviously uh, I just got done with stream here, so I'm gonna go ahead and record my YouTube video for the night for my daily uploads here. So if you are enjoying the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Try to get this channel monetized as quickly as possible. The faster I get to a thousand, the more I can actually invest time in this game and justify playing it a lot more and making better content for you guys. Because I do know and understand that you know better content takes time. Unfortunately, that ROI is gonna be there for me as well. But I just realized when I was streaming. But I've been making a few mistakes, and I think they're pretty brutal. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, so you remember? You remember uh, what was it? Uh, day three, day four. I was like, yeah. So don't do this uh, because I listened to so and so, uh, and they 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 put me in the wrong direction. Well, I listened to so and so again, and once again, I got put in the wrong direction. Um, one thing I want to point out in this game that I have noticed, which is not necessarily a terrible thing because I'm free to play. So everything that I have on my account within these 13 days, everyone else has the chance to also get the same exact account as me. I haven't spent any money. I'm not above anyone else, right? So my heroes, not terrible. I've got Zia. I've got Space, obviously, from Login Rewards. I've got Luz, uh, who's a solid champion. Um, I have Wim already, who's godlike, right? I've got Maya, I've got Holdor, I've got Reeves, who's amazing for guild boss. I unfortunately somehow pulled two Nasils. I don't know why. Uh, some of you are going to say, yeah, John, you're holding on to a few food items here. Maybe get rid of them. Um, it's not that I don't necessarily disagree with you, but the thing I want to point out in this video and kind of talk to you guys about, and one of the biggest mistakes I made that I'm kind of regretting is I knew right from the get-go that I needed to take one character and make them an A5 immediately, as quick as possible. And then as soon as I get an exclusive, if I get an exclusive orb, I'll probably pop one of them in here for just to get a little bit more done, right? Um, especially because of what concentration increases. Like once that ability procs, then she can't take uh, any control effects, which is amazing. So you can't stop her, so she's going to just destroy them. But um, I focused and started... Uh, Basically, spreading myself too thin here. So notice that I have Holder is now um, Awakened 2. I did that today, and that's because it dawned on me. I had Holder at Awakened 1. I had Space at 1. I have, I have uh, Maya at 1. I have Wim. I have Luz. I'm only using 5 at a time, and I have 6 champions who are Awakened 1 or higher, right? Uh, so the, the moral of the story is the fact that even though, yeah, I Awakened them 1 up, and it helped me a little bit. Like, and I mean just a smidge as far as progression in the campaign as far as one more level in the dungeon. However, the smarter chance would have been here is for me to actually take in this resources and actually dump them into holder. Now, some of you are gonna say, John, that doesn't make sense. Why would you do, why would you dump them into holder and not dump them into like lose or into space? Well, here's why. I have Zia fully skilled right now. She's maxed out skill wise. I've got, I've been focusing primarily on her aura. I actually need to do a lot more aura stuff that I'm going to be working on. So I'm trying to save up all my resources for that before I start spending them because I don't fully have a spreadsheet for the min maxing of those yet. But, um, but I've been really maximizing her. So that's great. But she is a legendary unit, which are those are kind of harder to do. Well, I've gotten just enough of the legendary skills, uh, the, the yeah, skill upgrades here, scrolls. To where i almost have space fully booked out or fully skilled out right so she's uh three four away from getting maxed out on her kit and she's definitely someone that you want to get maxed out right she is a god tier champion that has some longevity to her so it's worth investing in right however she does no damage so if i were to take her up to a5 right now what i would be doing is actually short sighting myself a little bit on the actual uh progression because unfortunately as much as support units and good healers and turn meter manipulators are great units, they always, hands down always, are great units to have. Unfortunately, they don't do any damage and they don't clean up the waves as part of uh, their, their process, right? They're really good at boosting up your damage dealer and your team and synergizing well. However, standalone DPS is null and void. Zia has allowed me to progress as far as I have, 
because she does standalone damage and she can hold her own. Well, let's say I were to do a whole nother character. Sure, if I were to do lose here, I would then have to upgrade him all the way. I still would not have his skills all the way done. Um, chances are I will not get an E version of these at all. I won't get an exclusive version of either one of these for a while, right? Because I'm free to play. Um, so that, that, I, that drops this out. Emblems, sure. I'll, as I awaken them, I'll get the emblems up higher and higher, which would be great. Auras, that, that's apples to apples. No, no problem there. However, with Holder, now this is a different story. Because with Holder, um, once again, it's fully skilled out. This is very easy to achieve. Um, he's awakened too currently. Now, I did his emblems. I got to do his aura up higher again. But his exclusive, I don't have. But I could probably easily get easierly get him to uh, E3 than any of those legendaries. Now, that's another thing where like I had one of these shards. I put it on whim, and I'll talk about that in a second. But it really would have helped because I could have gotten more leech, which would have made um, him actually have more sustain, right? As we go down to uh, E3, duration of counterattack counter inflicted by Aragon is extended by one turn if self is attack or attack up status, and then it increases your attack again. That's a huge gain, right? So, and it's an epic. It's not a legendary. So now that means I have one legendary to focus all my resources on, and that's going to be, you know, Zia. And then I got my epic here that I'm going to take all the way up awakening-wise, focus my resources on, right? Makes sense. But in the meantime, that means I can start getting my next legendary ready. So what this allows me to do is this allows me to take him, get, get her done for damage, which I've done. That means I'm going to get him prepped for damage. And I'm actually going to be using him for his bleeds mostly more than his damage. Um, obviously, as I get the correct gear, I can make him do a little bit more damage. I will have him do more damage. But in general, having him be able to do his dot damage and bleeds is going to help me knock down a peg a few of those other champions until Zia can go ahead and get in there, right? Um, but this allows me to focus him all the way up on Awakening. And by the time that happens, her, she should be fully skilled out here. And then once she's fully skilled out, once again, I could take her up in the Awakening tree. But by the time we get this one done and we move over, I could actually then focus on Luz here and start focusing on his skill tree and Awakening as well. And that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to have that flexibility of making a decision of when I finish Holder, Am I going to go DPS? Am I going to go whim? Or have I pulled another character that makes sense? Now, the one thing I'm going to point out with me saying I, what I regret here is the fact that I should have taken Zia to five. I should have Holder as high up as possible. Whim should still have one awakening. I should still have him awaken. And the reason being is because of his exclusive. You can't get the exclusive without the awakening. And he's an epic character, so it's easier to acquire. And also, you're going to get the orb that gives you a free awakening or a free exclusive for him, right? Um, the duration of shield is amazing. Uh, and the gains one more action after turn is amazing. And then as soon as you get down here to level three, we'll ze with zeal reduces by one. Um, that in itself is going to be um, uh, also massive, right? Um, <clears throat> and it just makes more sense this way to allow you to have an amazing support unit that's more in-game viable shifted and then that would basically give me back two four uh six six of them right here which then would get me what is this i need four so he would be a three and he would be two into a four which would then require five right here so then I, i'm almost i'm halfway there to a four and then 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 you get a five and we know we all know that's a pain right so I would be a lot further, and that extra damage would then allow me to clear more content. Unfortunately, it's going to cost way too much to regress all these champions, so I can't. Um, but even looking down here at all these five stars, I should have done all these five stars down here. Um, Reeves is a good one to have done. I really should. I really wanted to get him awakened to get his dupe in there. But right now, I don't think guild boss is my priority, so I'm not going to focus on any of that. What I'm going to focus on now is I'm going to focus solely on getting food to get Holder up. Finishing booking out my space. Um, I have all these, uh, all, all my epics here are max skilled already. You get quite a bit of books here. I'm actually going to be working on Reeves here pretty soon to get him max booked for guild boss because he's going to be a guild boss champion. But overall, in general, I can't believe I made that mistake. And I'm glad I identified it now earlier, like, you know, like day 13 versus, you know, a month or two in because I feel like what would have happened is I would have been stuck on this for a long time. I would have been stuck on this for a very long time and then just hating the game because 
it's no fun when you have, you know, when you're just beating your head against a wall. That really makes the game kind of lose its lack or lose its uh, its, its uh, longevity for you or your your engagement because you're too stuck, right? That's always a problem in a lot of games is when you get too stuck or you get too into a bad corner where you're just like, I don't want to claw myself out of it. And that's understandable because that's the way everyone else is as well. Uh, so hopefully my video will help you uh, guide you a little bit into what you should be doing on your account. Um, like I said, I figured this out at day 13, almost two weeks into the game. Um, let me know if you have the same epiphany. Epiphany. If not, will this help you? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear more about it. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.